here with Roderick Stewart, import for um, Bundy Bundyballs. Bundy Balls. Yeah. How are you enjoying your first time in Australia? I love it, man. This, this is the country I've always wanted to go to. My dad always told me about this country as a little kid, how relaxed and just laid back everyone is, and that's like just the perfect vibe for me because I'm, I'm kind of a shy guy off the court. On the court, I'm like, you know, I can be animated and stuff like that. But I love it here. How are you enjoying uh, your first couple games for Bundy? It's been good. I'm, I'm still getting used to the humidity and the time difference, but that'll come with time and practice. I'll be fine like in another week or so. The humidity's been getting to me a little bit. It's been draining me a little bit. You've been, um, you've had a really successful career with the University of Kansas. Yeah. Uh, Describe, describe what to us winning a NCAA Division One championship. That's just like as a kid, that's just a dream come true. Like just playing in a national championship. Unfortunately, I broke my knee my senior year at the, at the Final Four, like in the biggest stage of my life. But I feel like the guys rallied around me and got the job done for me. They played one that game in honor of me. So uh, after your career at uh, Kansas, uh, where else have you been? Been playing ball over Europe. I've been in Finland. Kosovo. Kosovo, I didn't like it, I'm going to be honest. I didn't like Kosovo, but Finland, I love it. I love it. just the atmosphere. It's my type of crowd, but nothing compares to Australia. So, a good season here in Australia, and then maybe back to Europe again? Or? No, I want to stay. I kind of want to stay in Australia. I feel like this. Is, I found a new home here. It's just, and it has, it has a little bit, it has a lot to do with basketball, but it's more so the people, the people here make me feel at home. You I must like you must love the Bundy atmosphere. Oh yeah, not only Bundy, just Australia in general. People here are real nice, man. Just They welcome me here with open arms. Made me feel like it's a second home. What are your expectations for this uh, season? Honestly, my only expectation is just to be the quarterback of my team and just run my team and help my team win. You know, a lot, of, a lot of Americans are more worried about stats and come here for their own purposes, but I'm more of a team player. I just want to get make other players better. That's what I pattern my game. I just try to do that. Try to pattern my game after D-Wade for the Miami Heat. He's been a guy I've been like, one of my mentors growing up. So just, just, make it, just making guys better, honestly. Speaking of D-Wade, you used to back up Mario Chalmers. Yeah, yeah, that's my, that's my guy, man. That's like my brother. And he found, a, he found a new home in Miami, and I wish him the best. We talk every day. I talk to all the guys at Kansas every day, and they just wish me luck and tell me to keep on pushing. Speaking of Kansas, like, you've had one of the best coaches of all time in yeah. Bill Self. What have you learned as a person by being four, four year, three just, years in that? Just playing for Bill Self, man, I, I can honestly say that's the best coach I've ever played for. He's just, he's just a genius when it comes to basketball, X's and O's. And he just teaches toughness, and I, I just go out there. And I, I kept telling the guys tonight, no matter what the score is, don't even look at the score. Just finish the game out. You're not worried about points. You're just trying to get better. It's only the second game of the season. We got a long season ahead. I mean, unfortunately, we didn't win tonight, but I'm proud of the guys for just sticking out there and just keep fighting every play. Thank you very much. We wish you all the best. All right, thank you, man. And hope you love uh, Australia. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Thank you.